All right, Shalom. First off, before most, I want to say, Call Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Call Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Waha Kodash. All right. Um, the honors to the apostles and, and the elders of GMS that real well, starting with the apostles of Har and on down, the true men of the Lord who taught us this truth for over three decades, and they're still pushing, still adoring until this day. And Shalom to you, since Iraqian, including you, confusion of faces that scattered across the four winds of the earth, doing this work of Yahweh Bashma Shai with all diligence and all sincerity and all humbleness, all right, to serve the elect of Israel, followed by the one third of Israel, all right. And uh, Salaki, if, if you hear noise in, in the background, you know, Salaki, if you hear you no know, cars and trucks and shit uh, passing by, I'm just getting out of slavery. And uh, I'm gonna just call this uh, GMS on the go. Because I'm just now walking back from the uh, plantation, you know, I'm just watching these people, all right, just driving back and forth, you know, you know, in their minds, they, they think they have a goal, but, you know, really, they're, they're, they're uh, driving nowhere, all right, you know, uh, on top of that, they worry about the wrong things, man, all right, these people are uh, worried about Super Bowls, the All-Star uh, weekends and shit, all right, Birthday parties and whatnot. All right, everything under the sun that's going on as far as uh, rumors of war. All right, Mark of the Beast, uh, uh, you know, almost being in full effect. Jacob's Trouble coming, World War Three. All right, they are not even worried about those things, but they're worried about the things that are of this world. All right, because these people don't realize what's going to come upon their heads, man. All right, because soon America's going to get hit with a fucking they're gonna get blindsided, man. All right, the, uh, America. All right, these uh, waste of skin reprobates are not gonna know what hit them because they didn't hearken unto the men of the Lord. All right, and that's mainly uh, towards you, Jakes. All right, because you're out there for you before the elect. All right, but um, going back to the point. All right, so as I'm you know, walking, you know, these people are just uh, basically, man, being careless. You know, uh, I just, uh, but basically just blinded and driving the folly and walking the folly. All right. But real quick, I want to take the scripture real quick in Zephaniah 2 and 15. And it says, This is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly, that said in her heart, I am, and there's none beside me. All right. And that, in that rejoicing city is talking about America. AKA the virgin daughter of Babylon. Because this bitch didn't get uh, hit yet. Alright, that's why it's called the virgin. Alright. <clears throat> but um but going back to the uh the uh, right here it says that dwelt carelessly that said in the heart, I am and there's none beside me. Alright. And in, in in America, you can clearly see that, that these people dwell carelessly. Alright, because they think that because these Edomites, I should say, these heathens think that their home is going to stand forever and, and continue to flourish, all right, forever and ever, for all eternity. But little do, but little do they know that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is going to, he's going to, uh, he's going to, uh, he's going to change that mattress, man. All right, he's going to, flip, he's going to flip that script because you know you got people out here that's, pay, uh, that's standing stiffly for America, all right. But how much more demand the Lord, man? That stands that, that stands stiff for you. How about small shy? Because because they because they can stand stiff all they want to. You know, as far as these uh, uh soldiers, these vets, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, they can stand stiff all they want to, but they but this shit's still gonna crumble. And the reason why it's not standing stiff is, is because the spirit and power of, of, of how about small shy, he's speaking through his men. He has raised up his prophets in Babylon. All right, but going back to the point about this, about this place uh, dwelling curiously, because they know they have, you know, Esau's a prideful being. You know, the saw his people. All right, and his people are are are, 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 are fucking branches of him. All right, Esau's the big ass tree, and, and they're the branches, man. Esau, Esau wants to see this place uh, continue to flourish. But that's not gonna happen, man. That's why that's why it says that said in her heart, 
I am, I am, and there's none beside me. All right, All right. Man, Esau thinks that he's the only, he's the only uh, uh, country that's, you know, um, that's out here doing big things. But you got uh, Russia, uh, India. What else do you have? Um, Venezuela, North and South Korea, China. All right, Iran, Syria. You have all these places that are just as equipped in artillery and soldiers just as in America, man. And that's why and that's why this place is gonna get brought down low. Because the scripture says pride goes before destruction. Alright. And that's and that's just the uh, way it is, man. That's just the way it's gonna go. And whether you uh people believe it or not, and this goes to all you motherfuckers, you anti machiats all right, the ones who scoff, the ones who just talk shit, man. The ones who are not on our side, man. The ones that are not part of the body of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. All right, y'all gonna know, man. Because all y'all is gonna get your demise very, very soon. All right. This is the book of Isaiah 55. Oh, it's locked here. Isaiah 55 and verse 11 and it says so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing where, where to I sent it alright and, and, and hey man and that's coming to pass man whatever you have watched my side says that it's gonna happen it's gonna fucking happen man alright America's gonna be thrown down by violence, all right. Yo, he saw you eating mice. Your family members, your cousins, your uncles, your grannies, your aunties, brothers, sisters, mommy, daddies. All right, not going to slavery, man. And that's the end all be y'all. All right. Y'all all just you uh useless waste of skin, man. You know you treat Jake like pieces of shit in here, man. But soon. The, the table is gonna turn. Jake gonna treat you like shit in the kingdom. It's gonna be righteous. Alright? Fucking have you gonna have Moab being your ass, man. Alright? We gonna have him uh, uh fucking giving you hell too, man. Alright? Cause we gonna use the other nations too to get on you too. Alright? At the same time it was getting on them. But he saw you but he saw you, you gonna get the worst, man. Cause you, you, cause you the main suspect, all right. You are the villain in this movie. This movie is about Jacob and Esau, all right. And in and, and every movie, there's an antagonist and a protagonist, man. And Esau, man, that's you, man. You are the, uh, uh, I believe the villain's called the antagonist, all right. You're the antagonist of this movie, man, all right. And America's gonna be brought to naught, man, all right. This said the Holy Scriptures. The sell you how about small shy, all right? His words are not going to uh, return onto the Lord. You how about small shy void, all right? And uh, so lucky again for the noise in the background. I'm just walking to the uh, you know, the tent, but I'm Lord willing, brothers edified, all right? That being said, let's say, call Lord Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Waha Kodash. And with that being said, Shalom.